Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. If you think getting guns and ammo now is difficult and frustrating, just wait. It seems that it's going to get a whole lot worse in the future. We as gun owners pinched all of our hopes of saving the Second Amendment on the Senate race in Georgia. And as it sits now, it does not look good. So what does that mean? We have anti-gun politicians in the House, the Senate, and the White House. If you see what's going on here. Now, you say, well, why is that going to affect guns and ammo? Well, every time something like this happens, you have people who are not gun owners who say, well, I, I may as well get one while I still can, while, while they're still legal, I may as well get one now, many of which are the exact same people who voted for anti-gun politicians. I have seen this. I, I, I've had people contact me who I know voted liberal across the board that say, I, I better get something while I can. The very people they voted for is the one that they're trying to get around the curve to get their guns before they know they're going to ban them. It's sort of like, as long as I get mine, I'm not worried about anybody else, but, you know, we'll just leave it at that. What do you think I should get? You know, you're, we're going to see the same thing with handguns and shotguns, too. It's never, ever enough with these anti-gun politicians. And they told us in advance, this is what we're going to do. It's like on top of their list. It's, it's amongst the top five things they want to do. Kamala said, the, day one, they're going to start working on gun control without a plan, without any plan of criminals, carjackers, rapists, killers. They, they want to come after us. It's almost like a revenge thing where we need to get you guys. We're mad at the NRA. We're mad at gun owners of America. We can't stand you because you like freedom. Now that we have the power, select politicians who hey, gather all their anti-gun buddies. They, they form together to implement these laws. We're going to have a miserable four years ahead of us. And so as you have more people entering the gun world, which we've already seen, which is one of the primary reasons why guns and ammo are hard to come by now, it's going to get even worse. And now you look at the waiting periods, registration, universal background checks, even for private sales, magazine restrictions. It's just going to go on and on and on. And let's not even talk about bans. Every time these anti-gun liberals get in to power, they want to infringe upon the Second Amendment. And they're not worried about guns themselves. They want to appease each other. They're, by telling their constituents they're going to keep us safe the exact same way Hitler did. As long as these people have guns, you're not safe. Meanwhile, they're being protected 24-7 with armed security. The hypocrisy is unbelievable. So you have these people who are voting for anti-gunners attempting to get guns. It's going to make the situation even worse because it's hard enough now. But as more and more people enter in, there's a small window in which they know, hey, I better get this while I can. Get it while I can. So as long as I have it, I don't care about anybody else. And... They're, in many cases, are the ones who click that ballot for that anti-gun person, and now they're going to be entering the gun world so long as they get what they need. I've always been a guy who said, you know what, the more the better. And I still think that, but looking at the glass half full in a situation like this is pretty hard, especially when these anti-gun politicians tell us in advance what their plans are. You know, if you think that Oh, no, that's not going to happen. Oh, they, they won't do it. Don't put it past them, all right? They, they now have the power to select people to make laws that will affect all of us, millions and millions of gun owners. It's going to require us to be so united and, and so vocal and, and so much willing to get involved, probably greater than any time in the past. This is not good. We don't like the situation we're in now with guns and ammo. You like finding it and the price of it. Imagine 
major taxes on those. Imagine the the amount of additional fees that could be added onto firearms. Imagine the the ban, or, or they may even come with the the government buyback, which they never owned the guns to begin with. So I don't know how they could buy them back, but they they may even hit us with that. So let's make up our mind now to fight them at every single step of the way and be vocal and get involved because this next four years could be horrible. I appreciate you watching and you guys be safe.